Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Um, we're going to carry on with our craft with me. We are day day 26 of the 100 day project. So here's where we left off. We're going to we're, we're going to leave the the cover to the very last thing. Um, so yesterday we did um, this, and we've we finish this off. So today, um, using Artie Mae's Touch a Spring Kit, um, you get a page like this. So I have went ahead and cut this out. I've scored, I added a little eyelet, added some sorry silk, and then I just cut some tea dyed paper and stitch that in so we've got a little notepad within this. This is just, I, th I thought that would be a really sweet little element. And then, um, you know, you can distress around this and I thought it might be really sweet to take um, and make a couple of little pockets on this side, just tiny ones for some smaller, like the journaling cards, she gets to give you these these tiny ones. Well, in fact, let's just do that. I'm not going to worry about that side. Um, so that's um, <clears throat> let me gather my stuff. I did a big clean yesterday. I hope I don't bump this camera. Sorry, guys. Um, I did a really big clean yesterday, and I'm feeling really good about my space at the moment, but. The downside to that is, um, you know, I've put everything away, and, and I I am concerned I'll find everything again. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to go ahead and try to kind of think through what we were going to do so that I wouldn't be, you know, searching for items um, within the video, because I know that's very annoying when you're watching somebody and and uh, there's really nothing going on but drawers rattling, so <laughs> I'm going to try to avoid that as much as I can. <laughs> okay, so let's try to create just a couple of tiny pockets for these. Let me grab... Here we go. I'm going to use the little tickets and make those as a pocket. Now, I'm saving the, the larger image of this for the, um, I think, the front cover, but I haven't completely decided. But I'm going to use the little fairy. She's a sweetie. Let's cut her out quickly. Um, that's the wrong scissors for this. Normally, I would try to um, have all of these things cut out before I start a project, but as you guys know, I, um, I haven't been that organized since I started doing the um, 100 Day Project. It's really thrown my whole system. Um, okay, let me see. I'll this one and that one, I think. Just cut these out, and we'll make little pockets out of these within the um, the little note pad or yeah, notepad. So had a little bit of time last night to um, catch up on a few of my people I'm subscribed <coughs> excuse me, subscribed to and um, I've got all these ideas that I want to try but um, I want to you know, use them as um, some of these projects because I told you that was my main concern with 
committing to this is, is running out of ideas, but there's so much inspiration on YouTube, but I don't get a lot of time to be on there. Okay, I'm going to have to snip that down slightly. I didn't think about that. Let me just trim the edges slightly because we want it to still be recognizable as a ticket. That's going to work fine. Let me do the same with this one because, you know, there it's going to overhang. It's probably not a big deal if it did because you it closes on itself, but I'm just going to snip it off just to make sure we don't have any issue from that. But yeah, I'm really um, wanting to um, get started trying some of the things I've spotted. But uh, I'll have to wait until I've got the time to do it with. And, you know, I don't want to pause this project. I just want to carry on and get this completed before we move on. never intended to really to do, you know, a large project. I was intending to keep it just really short. You know what? I'm just thinking, I bet you. Oh no, it still fits in. I thought I might have to snip those down slightly, but just try to keep the fine line if I can. But don't worry, if you find that these aren't going to fit in there, just trim them down. in this one. I pr probably should let that glue dry because we all know what's going to happen. So I will pull those and set them to the side. But anyways, I'll just let you see. That's, that's how it's going to look. Sweet, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to set those over because I don't want to risk that. So that's That's done. Oh no, I tell you what else I thought about. <clears throat> this was in my stash and I really feel like it needs that there and let me grab a little bit of uh, cheesecloth. Okay, the other thing, <coughs> I pulled a Just a Note stamp out of uh, my collection. I wonder, hmm. Yes, I see something. Oh no, I washed it last night. I was wondering where my stamp and scrub had it gone, but I washed it and left it in to dry. Okay, so just stamp that in the little label. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here. There's me rummaging through drawers. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to uh, some of these embellishments I've had for so long. Yeah, I 
just a little bit of um, sparkle. I think it would be pretty. Oops, sorry, I keep doing that. Uh, okay. So I think that's going to fit really nice there. I don't know if that's going to bug me, I'm afraid. So I'm going to snip that a little bit shorter. You could use twine or anything. I'm <clears throat> I may change that to twine, actually. It's kind of lost in that, I think. Let's do that because uh, I'm not I'm not liking the sorry on this particular. It's too washed out. Let me get a bit of um because this is very um, woodland to me, um, and I I like the natural you know twine. I think it's going to suit this project better, so sorry. <laughs> sorry about the sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's see what color. That's kind of an olive. I think it, the chocolate. I think the chocolate. So what I'm going to do is double this up. I mean, maybe <clears throat> this being as thin as as thin as it is, it might have been pretty to do four strands of that. See, I like that better. I think that it needed that. Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna actually take a bit more of that off. That's too long. And then I'm going to, um, let's see, you know what, let me see if I've got a little tiny, tiny charm. I know I've got charms, but it's whether I can find one. Because um, I don't want anything that's going to be super bulky. This is one of the drawers. I've still got one side of my units um, to go through, but I just couldn't couldn't do it last night. I ran out of steam, so that's just a little button charm. It's just tiny, but I think that'll be very sweet on this. Chinese. Gosh, dog it. It makes me sad that everything is coming from China. It's cheap and readily available, but I'm sorry, the quality is not there, guys. And, uh,. that up. Okay, so there we go. Just really simple. Uh, you guys know I'm not a jewelry uh, maker, so I have to keep things very simple. Um, so you, you know, if you're more experienced in that, obviously, Go with it and do 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 what you um, think is right. I'm liking how this is coming out. 
so it's starting to fill in a bit. Um, so at this point, I'm just going to start filling it out with stuff from my stash. Um, and then it will start to come together. Now, not, not everything is from Artie Mae's kit, so um, I'm not going to list everything, guys. It's I don't have time to do that. Uh, most of this stuff I've been using for ages, and if you've been following me, you will have at some point seen where I list, um, where I've listed these shops, and you can check them out. Uh, let's see, what do I want to put on that one? I'd like a little bit of... Seam binding on this one, and let's see what color. How about a little bit of blue? Because um, we've got a lot of greens, a lot of yellows, the pink seems very washed out so let me just snip off this is how I keep my seam binding um, I don't have time to bundle it nicely I wish I did because I do love to look at my fabrics and my trims and um, my trims on the spools are driving me bonkers because they're in a drawer and I've tried so many ways to organize them and I know I need to get a um, wood, you know, rod and have them mounted above, but I, I haven't had time to do that. But I don't know if it's worth me doing it going forward because I don't know. Most of the stuff I'm using now seems to be lace. But okay, so this is just for my stash. I'm going to tuck him in there because um, because I think it looks nice. And I'm going to put this in and get a little bit more of my seam binding on here because I think we need to pull some of these colors out. So yeah, there's still lots of stuff I need to do to my space, and over time it is coming together. Um, oh, I do like that, because I like the bold from that sticking out there. Let's get another little journal card from the kit. Now this is from a different kit. Um, like I said, I'm not... <coughs> I'm not going to list everything because I just don't have time to go through and find the links to all of them. You know, I, this is, you're talking about years of ephemera I've been collecting, so these tiny little postcards, aren't they precious? So that's going to have to go in there. I think it'll still show through. And then we can move on. And I've been debating if, if I'm going to add a small, uh, look at that, isn't that precious? So I'm going to tuck that little thing because I want that kind of peeking out there. Let me put some aging on this. <coughs> okay, so there we go guys. I feel like that's pretty complete. Unless I might put a tall tag. Let me see what I've got. I think this will show slightly. So let's cut that out and add it.
like I said, I may <clears throat> do a small mini journal, but I'm not going to do that on camera because I've already done that um, in a previous 100 day challenge. So if you're curious on how to do the little mini journal, you can check out my, I'm doing a playlist for this in case you guys don't know. I like that because that just shows enough. Okay, guys, we got to move on. <clears throat> okay, so I was thinking here <clears throat> that I would just add this. I thought this would look really sweet. It's, it, this isn't from the kit. This is in my stash, and it's just some little birds nesting. And it, the, I can imagine him looking up at them because this is the tree with it's all in bloom, and so that's going to be the little tuck spot there. I think it needs a little bit of um, something up there. Let me see what I've got. Just something really delicate. Oh, you know what might be pretty? Some tiny, I'm just thinking that with a little tiny button. You know the one the button that you want is always at the bottom. Don't know why, but it always is. I've got that or I've got I it's funny. I love these little four hole, but whenever I go to um, choose one, I always try to go for the two hole because it's so much quicker. I think I prefer that green. I wonder if I should go with a darker one. Let's see. No. Oh, I don't know. That might be quite pretty, actually. That's yeah, a bit too much. It takes away from him. So I'm going to go with that. <clears throat> okay, guys, I'm going to have to stop here and come back in just a moment. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to finish this up. Um, I went ahead and sewed the little button, and I backed it with just a tiny piece of burlap. And then the bit of vintage trim or lace there that I had, just a snippet. Um, and I really don't want to cover him up, so this was just part of my stash. It's a little envelope, and I'm just going to have that tucked in there um, just to have something. And then um, you've got place there. That I don't know what I'm going to do with yet, but here, this is going to be the last thing we're going to do today. Um, this is from another of Artie Mae's kits, and I think it's um, calendar tags and journal cards, I believe, is the kit. Um, so what I've done, I've just scored, I cut the, the tag out, scored it here, and I thought it would be really sweet to make another little flip up there. So let's just age, I'm just going to distress the back of this so it's not too light colored and then we're just going to get that stuck down and I, I'm not bothered about it you know I think it see this is the great thing it all goes together um, I just think that's so pretty and then have that flip up so you've got another little element I mean you can see now you've got the basis for it um, 
you can just go and go and go with these things. I mean, you could add more flips here. Um, I don't know. We might do that, but I'm going to have to call, stop here, guys. That's that's it. We finished this. Except, well, let's go ahead and put some trim there, and then that. Um, Yeah, that's really pretty lace there. Let me snip that off and we'll get that down and then I'm gonna have to come back and do a bit more to that side. But isn't that nice? Just really soft, delicate. I'll show you. I just found this last night buried. Oh, it was a good thing to have a um a clear out. Um because stuff like that, I mean, I have a whole roll of it. I don't, I didn't even know I still had it. So that's awesome when you come across stuff like that. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna have to stop here. I'm afraid, but let me just let you have a really. Now this, I'm gonna add some more to it. Um, but you, you know, you've got the idea of where we're going with this now. Um, it's just. They're really fun projects when you just don't want to um, start on a journal. And uh, I've really enjoyed doing these the last couple of days. Well, the last couple of weeks. I've been, you know, because I did the one for um, Dreams, etc. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm going to have to stop there, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. You guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon.